understanding, on the verge of, mastering English phrases. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English expressions. We'll explore the phrase, on the verge of, in detail. It's a phrase you might have heard in conversations, movies, or books. And understanding it can add depth to your English comprehension and expression. So, let's get started. The phrase, on the verge of, is used to indicate that someone or something is about to experience a significant event, change, or action. It carries a sense of immediacy or urgency, suggesting that the event or action is imminent and could happen at any moment. For instance, saying, he is on the verge of crying, implies that he is about to cry, and it could happen very soon. On the verge of, not only signals that something is about to happen but also often conveys a sense of tension or anticipation. This phrase is commonly used in scenarios where the subsequent event is significant or has been awaited for some time. For example, she was on the verge of making a breakthrough in her research, suggests that a substantial development is expected imminently, and there's likely a buildup of anticipation or excitement. To truly grasp any phrase, it's helpful to see it in context. Here are some examples. 1. The team was on the verge of winning the championship, with only minutes left in the game. 2. He was on the verge of tears when he realized the gravity of the situation. 3. The company is on the verge of a major breakthrough in technology. These examples show how, on the verge of, can describe situations that are tense, emotionally charged, or pivotal. Expanding your vocabulary with synonyms can add variety to your speech or writing. Here are some synonyms for, on the verge of, 1. On the brink of, 2. At the threshold of, 3. On the cusp of, each of these can be used in a similar context but might carry a slightly different tone or level of formality. Understanding phrases like, on the verge of, can enrich your English language skills and allow you to express yourself more vividly and precisely. We hope this exploration has been enlightening and that you're now on the verge of mastering this intriguing phrase. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll find yourself using it naturally in your conversations and writing. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.